So last week we were down in the Keys shooting the first part of our Florida Free Diving Adventure Series sponsored by Lava Core, Ocean Pro, and Patrick Sunscreen. We were down there shooting for about three days and on the second day I reached out to Robbie's of Isla Morada which is a great place to stop if you're ever down in the Keys. You can go out back and feed hundreds of giant tarpon. There's great food, there's a shopping area. It's just a really awesome place to check out. When I contacted Robbie's, they set us up with a private boat tour with Captain Brian of Satisfaction Charters, and he's just an awesome guy, super educated, showed us everything we could need to know out in the water. While we were out there, he gave us information on the lobster season, spear fishing, a little bit of everything. He took us out to a place called Alligator Lighthouse. And this was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. And once you got under the lighthouse and you stayed there for a second, all the fish would come back around and then you would just do a full 360 and there was nothing but just walls of fish. It was unreal. You couldn't even see through them. And when we got back to the boat, I told the captain, hey, I saw a couple barracudas out there. Where can we find some bigger ones? About five minutes away, there's a couple buoys and it's a deeper channel marker, about 35 feet. As soon as we pull up, I look over the side, and there's two giant barracuda. As I'm putting my gear on, I hear Captain Brian yell shark, and I look over, and I see a huge dorsal fin cutting through the water, and it's a solid 10-foot hammerhead shark. All I could think is, I've got to get this shot. So, me and Jimmy slide in the water. I tapped him and was like, yo, we're going to stay together, watch each other, let's go. We got about 30 feet away from the boat, and three barracuda came our way. Two went towards Jimmy and one broke off towards my direction and tried to get close enough to the Barracuda to get a good shot. So once I was about 15 maybe 20 feet down I caught a shadow in the corner of my left eye and I looked over and just boom there it was. Huge hammerhead shark. When I first saw him I had my GoPro in my left hand and I had my iPhone inside of my hit case in my right. So I took a picture I knew it went off, but I couldn't tell if I had gotten it or not. I just kept filming, and as he came at me the first time, I wasn't really nervous. You know, I had seen so many videos of sharks just checking people out, and I knew he was wondering what I was and what I was doing in the water. He was moving a little fast for my liking. It was just, he was a little jerky in his movements, and the second time he came, he was going under me. And that time, my concern was I didn't want to kick him face or hit them with my fins because I've got these Ocean Pro you know three and a half foot long blade fins and if one of those hit them I don't want to antagonize them. And I kind of tucked my knees up a little bit and as he goes under me I didn't even realize until I got home and watched the footage how close he was to my feet. As he went under me he watched me and then he did this wide turn and then he popped around real quick and what I didn't like about the last approach he did, he was coming more up at me. The first time he came side, the second time he went under me, and this time he was coming up at an angle, and I really didn't like that because I was like, okay, he's gonna bite me. And if you look in the film, he actually opens his mouth a little bit. You can see his teeth as he's coming up. I'm like, what should I do? Should I hit him? I didn't know if I was about to get the best shot ever or just get a shot of me being attacked by a shark. He had already checked me out twice, and for him to come back a third time, really made me feel like he was sizing me up. He kept doing these little nods off to the right and I was afraid that one of those was just going to turn into a bite and I had my arm out like this and my GoPro behind it because if I got bit anywhere I would want it to be in the arm. If he gets you in the leg and into your arteries you're pretty much screwed. And as the shark came up on the last sweep he was looking at me. My mind was racing and this shark is just sitting there looking at me thinking and as he comes by he just gently brushes me with this side fin on the leg swims off and it was just unreal. As the boat comes up I get on the boat and then I remember Jimmy still in the water. So I look back and get one more shot and the shark is swimming around Jimmy and on his camera it actually shows the shark passing him and coming back two or three times. So. It was definitely very interested in us and we're lucky. In the end, nobody got hurt and I got one of the most incredible shots, but most importantly, one of the craziest and most unbelievable experiences I've ever had in my life.